Good morning, engineers. Uh, here we go again. After my last video, I had way too much fun with a large block uh, conveyor belt. And I thought, well, let me try and build a very large small block conveyor belt. See, see how long we can go before system overload. And uh, well, it's uh, 120 meters, I think. My large block belt was 240 meters, so this is half, but it's probably got the double, hin double the amount of hinges in it. And it was an adventure. It wasn't easy to build. It's the same principles, but there is a lot more fine tuning and tweaking to make it work right. Because it was a very clangy, clangy, noisy thing. And now the, the only noise you can hear, I really checked everything. The only clang we hear now is when, the, when these blocks hit, when they close on the bottom and they hit. Because I thought the clang was coming from here, you know, that it wobbles up and down here. But it wasn't that because I actually managed to lift the whole thing all the way up. And it wasn't even touching, it was in the air. So, so this is the construction. Same principle as the large block. Oh yeah, I needed to add these wheels because when I assembling it, the, it kept sliding off. And this time, yes, I did have a little bit of an issue with a, with a copy and pasting of the segments. It didn't work as well as with a large block. So I used uh, probably, well, let's stop this thing for a second. There. So I had segments of probably one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven or eight long. I turned them on their back here. Then I used uh, the, the very beautiful welding pads and stuck them right there so so I would use this ship <laughs> and actually have two pieces separated by a very small amount and then with the ship push them together boom and add another one and add another one and then when I had a segment as large as this here from here to there, when I had the segment, I lifted this support all the way up and I stood right here and copied and pasted it, let it drop in there and that's when it fell off and I had to figure out a way to get that done. And then the second piece, same length, I just dropped it on top of the guide here and that stuck just fine. You see these uh, guides here stuck perfectly, didn't fall off. And then I secured everything with uh, pistons and uh, landing gears. And then I just had to build this circle. And of course, this circle. And then I had to fix all the errors I had committed in my unification process because there was a couple, couple of them that had welded together here. So it was fun. And it took me about four hours to build it. So that's why I didn't do the video on building it. But you can imagine pretty much how it was. It was a lot of fun. But of course it will not work if damage is on. It won't work. And I don't know how much other stuff you can put in here before the whole world crashes. All right, guys. So phone's ringing. I got to go. Enjoy the video. Bye.